Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to I will show you how you can configure the Velocity 1 joystick for the users in the ATR aircraft which has been released earlier this week. So to do that we need to go to the electronic flyback and then press the throttle setup option. So before making any changes there is one important thing and that's to make sure that the controller has been set to twin engine mode, right? So you can go to controls and there you will find the uh, yoke twin engine jet and the quad also set to the twin engine jet mode. Because that makes sure that you can control the engines individually which makes it possible to switch from single axis to dual axis. Because the dual axis allows you now to use both levelers to control the engines in individually instead of using one leveler which controls both engines. Uh, I tested it a little bit with the control option. If you set it to the correct profile, it will work, but it's not idle, right? So once we've done that, make sure that you uncheck the throttle hardware has reverse axis because officially the uh, Velocity 1 does have reverse axis, right? Although you will see uh, that technically it, I would say, or physically, no, graphically it will work, but I don't think it works, I would say, uh, based on some testing. But I saw some different results, but so I'm not 100% confident yet that it doesn't work completely. <laughs> then we've got the ramp, the notch, and the idle, right? So initially you would think, okay, hey, the ramp, that's, I would say, full throttle, right? So let's set it like that. And you will see that the ramp is something different, but I'm doing this on purpose. Then I'm gonna reverse it to the, uh, I would say, uh, notch mode and a notch or the notch option and the notch option actually tells uh, the position from where it will be a little bit harder for the pilot to increase the speed right so it will get a little bit more resistance on the uh, I would say on the throttle and that's to prevent that the pilot simply would say goes full throttle and pre prevents could prevent accidents and you can see that the velocity one is a little bit sensitive so I'm gonna I'm trying to push it in the same position but it sometimes is really really hard uh, so let's try again. Yeah. Oh, you can see it. It's sometimes it's, <laughs> it's too sensitive. Um, trying to push it in the same position could be sometimes a challenge, as you can see. But once you've once you're there, right, <laughs> like this, you can press the set options and then of course move the uh, totals to the zero position and then use the set options to set the values for the idle position. Now below that there are the tolerance values. The tolerance values show you how much I would say space there is between this value and then in this case the maximum 250 above and that's the range so you've got some flexibility and based on the manual you should set this value to a maximum of 200 uh, for all of them uh, and they say likely it will be a value between 100 and 200 so that's what I've now done right so everything is set correctly. Once you've done that press the validate option. The validate option will show you if there are overlaps and in this case what you saw is when I pushed or when I configured the uh, leveler in maximum full throttle mode or full throttle on the joystick mode I should say it overlaps with the max power position so what you need to do is the ramps uh, position is a little bit lower right so it could be ar around 90 or 80 percent that, that really depends the, the manual is a little bit vague about that, so I've pushed it now to 90%, so I'm going to use the set options. Now let's set the, I would say, detent option uh, to uh, roughly, uh, let me say, let's set it to roughly 60%, and then press validate again, and now it says validation successful, and I can press OK. Now going to the throttles, you will observe a different weird behavior. And that's not something I figured out myself, but I found it, uh, I would say, on one of the flight simulator fora, which, uh, which reports some issues about that. So currently the throttles are set to zero position, right? You can see uh, nothing has changed, so everything's set, set to zero. But when increasing them, you will see that it will not go further than that F135%. Now there's a small button over here which is called the gus lock. The gus lock needs to be removed if you want to test the joystick co for completeness. So remove the gus lock and then you will see that you will be able to push it to maximum forward. 
really easy right nothing hard the other thing is of course you have this nice uh, ability to set it in reverse mode so based on some testing it looks like that it works on the joystick even if you didn't enable that option uh, but again right i saw some weird behavior and this is one of those weird behaviors right uh, i've now needed to set it to full mode so to full throttle to move the joystick again right so one well, i would say a little bit weird behavior because now i push it again to reverse mode then increasing it again will only work if i'm pushing it to maximum forward it won't uh, move it back to the zero position if i'm moving those levelers to the zero position so i'm not 100 sure if this is correct i also saw some people reporting bugs about it on the uh, four hour flight simulator uh, so let's let's see how they respond to it and hopefully fix it in a future release so in this video we looked at how you can calibrate your velocity one joystick uh, for the users in the atr aircraft which has been released earlier so short recap use the throttle setup option make sure that it's set to dual axis don't activate the throttle hardware as reverse axis and make sure that you're not over pushing or setting this value while you set the throttles to maximum full power because that will overlap with the max power also make sure that the set and ramp are not overlapping as well as the idle and set are not overlapping the tolerance values maximum 200 but idly what they say in the manual you should set them to 100 right that's i would say kind of the space which you have i would say for i would say it's a little bit of dynamic value right to avoid that you need to be in a hundred percent same position to be for example at 60 percent engine power but that's likely also a little bit playing around with it here ends this video i hope you liked it if you liked it then consider to use the like button if you've got some other hints and tips about how to calibrate it let me know via the comment box below this video and if you want to stay up to date about new videos i'm posting then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel Thanks for watching and see you next time.